Good morning. Today is Friday the 13th. Spooky, scary. And this is another edition of Angry Taxpayer. I'm your host, Donna Smirniotopoulos. And today I want to talk about one of my favorite subjects. Uh, the topic of the show is, you think you're better than me? Really, the topic is virtue signaling. It's something that we have grown so accustomed to that we don't even think about it when we do it. Uh, we might do it by saying, I'm a vegan, or I'm a crossfitter, or I'm an atheist, or I'm woke, or hate has no home here, or some Darwin sticker on the back of our cars, or our ACLU t-shirts, whatever it is. We feel the need to broadcast our virtue and establish our good character. But part of this is not just to, to say we're the good people, but to draw a line that the people who aren't wearing the t-shirts or don't have the signs in their lawns are the bad people. I don't think people who, who virtue signal um, are really conscious of, of what they're doing as uh, somehow bad or inappropriate. Uh, and this again is my opinion. I, I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who are totally fine with vir virtue signaling that has no basis in actual human behavior. Uh, I became aware last night of a new Facebook group, and it sounds promising. Norwalk women who vote. I'm one of those women. I'm with you. I'm even a Democrat. I want to read to you from the Facebook page, uh, Norwalk women who vote. And so pardon me while I look down at my screen. Welcome to Norwalk women who vote. The idea for a group was born when two Norwalkers began discussing how the diversity of our city is one of our city's greatest strengths, and I agree with you. Along with other women in our city, we were concerned that the current national political climate, hmm, you think they're referring to Trump? I think they're referring to Trump, uh, was trickling down into our local politics and that the core values that we found to be a to be critical for a sustainable community. There are all kinds of buzzwords in here. Sustainable is, is a buzzword for environmental action. Uh, could be at risk. These core values are equality, diversity, and social responsibility. This includes the environment. You see, I was right about that. We believe that one of the best ways to ensure these values is to identify, inspire, and support women who advocate for these core values. So they're already signaling that some people are gonna be left out. Uh, they've already made the statement and it's subtle, but it's definitely there. If you don't support the core values, then you are excluded. Uh, so the founders all happen to be, they're Democrats now, but well, how wonderful is this? When they formed, one of them was unaffiliated. So they get extra credit for having brought in that unaffiliated person and converted her to a Democrat. Now, there is nothing inclusive about a closed Facebook group. There is nothing inclusive about a group that calls itself Norwalk Women Who Vote, and they exclude non-democratic endorsed candidates from their candidate forum this Sunday. The forum for on Sunday is just Democratic endorsed women for office and a non-woman, Harry Rilling. I, I find it extraordinary. And and what's what's most extraordinary about it is either uh they they are not conscious, the group founders and members are not conscious of how non-inclusive this is, how how they are excluding people or they're extremely cynical. Uh, so take your pick. Um, I find that there's a lot of cynicism in local government, so maybe I'm willing to go with cynicism on this one. But there is nothing inclusive about an event for women candidates that excludes the only woman candidate for mayor this year, Lisa Brenton. Uh, one of the admins, Stephanie Thomas, was nice enough to indulge us with our questions. What, what I struggled with with some of Stephanie's answers were that she kept saying people, there's a lot of confusion and that there's a lot of confusion. And Stephanie, dear, please don't mistake consternation with confusion. Uh, the, the backlash that you got on that page was from people who believe that this is fundamentally wrong, that it is hypocritical to call yourself a group that supports inclusivity and diversity and to not permit diversity of opinion. 
to not uh, support the candidacy of non-democratic women running for office and to exclude uh, the, the woman running for mayor, but include the man running for mayor is just completely asinine. Uh, I did apply to get into the group. I'm pretty sure now that, that once this YouTube goes up, uh, I will be rejected. So one more case of uh, exclusivity. To me, this sounds more like a sorority than uh, an inclusive and welcoming group. They have not said in their literature whether or not they are welcoming of the trans community. Uh, are trans women welcome? Are trans men welcome? Are non-gender conforming people welcome? Men clearly are not welcome unless you're the mayor and then you're welcome. So the rules are kind of murky and confusing. Stephanie, I will give you that. The rules are confusing, but make no mistake, we are not confused about the way we feel about this. We feel it is hypocritical in the extreme to have a, a group that calls itself inclusive and the core values are diversity and inclusivity and you're already, uh, you know, right out of the gate, you're, you're cutting people off. This is a sorority, basically. This is a sorority. You know, if you have the right look and you believe in the right things and you subscribe to the orthodoxy of thought that is part of this group, then you, then you get in and you get to participate in their events. So for my Democratic friends, my fellow Democrats out there thinking about attending this event on Sunday, just please know that th this is about as open as Bob Duff's uh, you know, ballot, his sample ballot that he hands out at Roten Middle School. Uh, it's not a sample ballot. It's this is the way we want you to vote. We're Democrats and we want you to vote in lockstep with the party. And I think that's absolutely what's going on with uh, Norwalk women who vote. Um, I'm not fooled by this. I hope you're not fooled by it either. I don't have a problem with women's groups. I don't have a problem with men's groups or Catholic groups or Jewish groups, whatever. But but just say who you are. Say we're the you know Norwalk Democratic women and we support Democratic women candidates. And just be honest. But but this uh, you know Norwalk women who vote and inclusive is just bullshit. I hope you can see through the bullshit. I will try to broadcast something really scary tonight, which is the political mailbag. I've been looking forward to doing this. I have a lot of interesting mail to share with, with you, and uh, I hope you will tune in later and have a great day. It's a beautiful one. Ta-ta for now.